Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video on FRCA primary exam introduction. Being an international medical graduate, we often lack support from the college as compared to local trainees. By sharing my experience and create a platform to gather useful resources, I hope I could help other IMGs to prepare for this difficult exam. I will talk about the exam components, the eligibility to apply the exam, exam dates, how to apply MCQ, and the exam paper structure. FRCA primary is divided into three main components, the MCQ, SOE, and OSCE. You have to pass the MCQ before you can apply the SOE and OSCE. Your MCQ will be valid for three years to apply the rest. For the first attempt, you must apply SOE and OSCE together. If you fail either one of the components, you could apply that component on your second attempt. By passing all of them, you can complete the FRCA primary. For eligibility of the MCQ, it doesn't matter if IMG have a GMC or not. As long as you are registered under medical council of your own country and you have successfully applied a temporary exam eligibility, known as a TEE, you could apply the exam. TEE is not a qualification. It is just an eligibility for you to take the exam. You have to be a practicing anesthetist, you need a registration of medical council, primary medical qualification, foundation training, minimum six months anesthesia, and your current job role. Send your proof to this email address and they will reply you and send you a payment link. You will be given a TEE number to apply the exam and your TEE will last for a year. If you need more than a year to, from the MCQ to ask you, you need to send an email to extend your TEE. Unfortunately, due to the COVID, there is a huge backlog of FRCA candidates. The college prioritized the local trainee to, and stopped the TEE application until August this year. So we have to keep an eye on the college update and subscribe the news. For the MCQ, it is usually held three times a year, in September, November and February. Be aware of the application deadline, which is well before the exam. We have to pay uh, £355 to see the MCQ. They have changed the MCQ to online exam due to COVID. You will have the exam on an online platform. And you will have three hours to complete 45 multiple true false and 45 single best answers. There is no negative scoring, so please answer all the questions. For multiple true false questions, there will be one stamp question with five true or false. So you will have a total of 45 times 5, 225 multiple true false. They are evenly distributed according to physiology, pharmacology, and physics. For single best answer, you will have five options for each question, and each question carries four marks to give you a total of 180. The whole MCQ paper carries 405 marks. There will be changes in the coming MCQ, however. Starting from September, there will be more single best answer and less multiple true false. And starting from September next year, there will be no longer any multiple true false. So please keep an eye on the college website regarding the changes. Over the past years, the pass rate ranged from 40% to 70%. The average passing score uh, is about 70%. This can give you a rough target to aim for when you are practicing on the MCQ bank. After the MCQ exam, you will receive a pass or fail list, followed by a score breakdown. You will be told the pass mark for that sitting and your own score. After passing the MCQ, you can apply the OSCE and SOE. Like the MCQ, there will be three sittings each year, and they are usually one to two months after the MCQ. You can pass the entire exam within three months, or you can do your OSCE or SOE within three years after the MCQ. For your first attempt, you have to apply both OSCE and SOE, and if you fail either one of them, you can apply that component on your second attempt. The SOE and OSCE are held online this year, and they will be taken on two different dates within the same week. Before the COVID, you have 16 stations for OSCE, including examiner stations and computer stations. But uh, under OSCE, uh, during the COVID, there are now 14 stations, all run by examiners. The assessment remains five minutes each, 
but uh, you have more time before and after as a buffer for technical issue. The simulation and interactive research stations are now adapted to the virtual format. Previous computer-based station now changed to clinical data station run by examiner. And show and demonstrate skills are now changed to tell and describe. Physical examinations are now excluded and equipment will be presented as photographs. In communications questions that require role play and an actor will be present. Each OSCE station carry 20 marks. 14 stations give you a total of 280. The pass mark for each station is determined by the examiner board and the overall pass mark is summed together to derive the overall OSCE pass mark. The OSCE passing rate varies between 50% to 70% and about 10-20% to of candidates pass either one of the components. And those candidates taking SOE or OSCE on the second attempt usually have a higher passing rate. You will receive a breakdown score result of each station after the exam. For the SOE, there are two sessions, 30 minutes each, and each session carries six questions roughly five minutes each. Each question will have a stamp question and follow-up questions depend on you, what you have answered. The examiner will move you on to the next question when the time is up. You can watch the demonstration video on the college YouTube channel. There will be two examiners who score independently. For every question, two marks are given for a pass, one mark for borderline and zero for fail. A maximum of 4 marks are given by 2 examiners for each question, and 12 questions together give you a total of 48 marks, and 37 will give you a pass. The entire syllabus can be split into physiology, pharmacology, physics, statistics, clinical, and anatomy. You can go to the RCOA website to download the core training curriculum, which tells you the detail of the exam syllabus. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you can find this video helpful and your feedback is very very important to me and please click the, click the link below and give me a feedback so I will know what you need and what I can help. Thank you very much.